Hey guys, Jaden here from Ice Hockey Aussies, here to talk about a game review um, between the Calgary Flames and the Detroit Red Wings that had to happen today. Uh, end score being 6-2. Um, big scoring game. Uh, it was a high shot game as well, uh, as we can start going down some of the stats just down the middle here. Um, I'll even highlight it for us. Uh, shots on goal, 31 to 30. Uh, face off percentage, 44% to 56 Power plays, there was no power play goals. Hits um, in favour of Calgary, 14 to 6. And block shots, 12 to 9 in favour of Calgary. Uh, just a little shots on goal per period down here. Uh, very much in favour of Detroit in the first period, uh, 14 to 9. Then it evened out for the rest of the game, uh, 10 to 8 and 12 to 8. Ending on, once again, 31 to 30. Uh, just a little bit of breakdown on just the goals and pe penalties that happened during the game. Uh, 159, so early on in the period, Brinkett scores, um, Hull and Raymond assist. At 9.44, we have um, Detroit going 2-0 uh, from Valeno, um, Sherout and Hull with the assist. And then going on to the left side, just a couple uh, um, penalties to round out the um, first period on the Calgary side. Uh, Blake Coleman on hooking on Valeno and uh, Kadri tripping Larkin. And going into the second, another early um, goal in the period. This from Larkin, um, assisted by Brinkett to set it for 3-0. And then later in the period, about 10 minutes later, uh, Calgary finally score. Um, thanks to Manjapani, uh, Backlund and Coleman with the assists. So that goes to 3-1. Only a minute and 20 seconds later, Detroit score again. Uh, to Brinkett with his second, Larkin and Raymond assisting. And then five minutes later, in the second, Sharon Govich, uh, assisted by Dua and Zadarov, uh, setting it to 4-2, um, ending the second, four goals in the second period. Uh, so a lot of action going on and a little bit of back and forth in the second. Um, if we scroll all the way down, we can go to the third period. As we can see, it's all Detroit here. Um, to begin with, once again, a very early uh, goal in the period. So Detroit starting each period strong and Calgary turnovers a bit slow at the start. 3.07, uh, Warman, Sprong and Perron uh, with the assists. At 3.44, so only 37 seconds later, uh, Detroit get their sixth goal. Debrinkert finishes his hat-trick. Raymond with the hat-trick of assists and Hull with the hat-trick of assists uh, completed there as well. So three assists for Raymond and three for Hull. Debrinkert finishes the hat trick. Uh, 728, we got Oli Mata hooking against Blake Coleman. A little bit of chance to get back, especially with James Rama tripping. Uh, so uh, Rizika at um, 812, a uh, little bit of a 5v3. And just to finish it off, there's just um, three uh, penalties here. Uh, Lindholm giving two of them with a hooking and a tripping. And then Greer with a cross check against Ghost. Uh, right at the end of the game, so not too important there. Uh, three stars of the game, obviously going to be Detroit um, players here with a 6-2 win. Debrinkert with the hat-trick, Larkin, and then Hull with the hat-trick of assists. Uh, like I said, Raymond also had a hat-trick of assists. Um, as we can see, James Reimer, uh, 29 out of 31 saved, 0.935 save percentage, very good. Uh, Vladar, very ordinary game, um, looked at a out of spot and out of place sometimes. Uh, 24 out of 30 saved, uh, 800 save percentage. Um, a lot of two on ones, uh, three on ones, three three on twos type situations uh, because of all the turnovers that Calgary were doing during that game. They were just looking out of sorts. And just some notable notes, um, just to just to finish off here. Uh, Detroit Red Wings uh, won the fifth straight game. Uh, it was the fifth NHL hat trick for Debrinka. Uh, to bring it, also became the Red Wings player, um, first uh, Red Wings player to score eight goals in the first six games uh, with a franchise, passing uh, Litzenberger's previous record of six in 61 62. So, a few records broken on matched here. To bring is the fourth Red Wings player to score eight goals in the first six games of the season, the first since Brendan Shanahan in 01 02, so it's been a long time 20 years, uh, two decades. To bring 12 points is the first um, six games in the first six games that are only shy of the Red Wings a record set by Sid Howe in 43-44 by one point and tied by um, Dion 
and Zetterberg in 74, 75, and 07, 08. So you can, we can see how big of a start the Brinkett's had. Great addition. Um, the Brinkett also leads the NHL in goals and um, end points, 8 and 12. Larkin has 11 points, 3 goals, 8 assists, extending his point streak to 6 games. And on Calgary's side, uh, Jonathan Huberto, a minus 4, without a shot on goal, and only played 13.58 uh, of ice time, so low minutes of ice time as well for Huberto. Um, with that addition, I think he has like 33 points um, out of, in 38 games against Detroit. So he normally does like to play against Detroit, not a point per game player, and he gets nothing here. Um, but yeah, that's just a little recap of the Calgary and Detroit game. Uh, what happened there? Pretty, pretty dominant um, game by Detroit in the sense that Calgary were just too many turnovers, and that's really just led to too many two on ones, odd man situations, which led to uh, unfortunately just too many going in the back of the net and Vladar having a little bit of an off game. But yeah, don't feel free to check us out on Ice Hockey Aussies. Uh, we do more content, power rankings and whatnot. So yeah, check out our channel. Feel free to comment below what you think of this game and like and subscribe. But until next time, catch you guys.